No, and I mean, I must say that this has been one of the my insights from my own life, um, where I felt that at least one decision I made poorly because I made a quit decision because I got something which looked attractive. Yeah, and I should have never quit that place uh, in the in the first place. Yeah, and and again in my HR times, I have seen many 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 people quit because they think they've got something better. Right, but they had no reason to quit. right and and somehow i kept asking why is this happening right and and that's when i realized that people are coupling these two decisions and the trigger to quit was actually coming in the form of an opportunity right and i said that's where a lot of mistakes happen and that's where people kind of go wrong in their careers uh, and hence the recommendation i have is decouple these two decisions you must first know whether you have a reason to quit and the reason to quit cannot be that i found something else because that journey is a never ending journey there also you'll find something else and you'll find something else so you must know do you have a reason to quit and and the way i like to think about the reasons to quit is i think there are only two reasons you should quit one is either your learning is tapering off and you're stagnating in your learning or you are experiencing a issue of fit which could be culture or values or chemistry or whatever it is yeah these are the only two reasons you should quit everything else promotion salary career all that is secondary because if you're driving learning all that follows yeah so you must first find out if you genuinely have a reason to quit which is learning and fit once you conclude there is a reason to quit then you can figure out all the join opportunities but if you start the other way around and you end up saying oh i have got a opportunity but i haven't but i actually i don't have a reason to quit then you end up making mistakes 